Hello everyone, Scott here. Welcome back to Storytime. This month we're reading Hey, Get Off Our Train by John Burningham. Let's get started. You aren't still playing with that train, are you? Get into bed immediately. You know you have to be up early for school tomorrow. Here's your pajama case, dog. I found it under a cushion in the sitting room. Now settle down and go to sleep. We're ready to go now. Don't make too much noise with the shovel. If there's time, we can have a picnic. It looks as if it's going to be foggy ahead. If it is, we can play ghosts. Hey, get off our train. Please let me come with you on your train. Someone is coming to cut off my tusks, and soon there will be none of us left. It's going to be a very hot day. If it is, we must find somewhere to go for a swim. Hey, get off our train. Please let me come with you on your train. If I stay in the sea, I won't have enough to eat because people are making the water very dirty and they're catching too many fish. And soon there will be none of us left. I think there's going to be a strong wind. If there is, we can all fly kites. Hey, get off our train. Please let me come with you on your train. I live in the marshes and they're draining the water out of them. I can't live on dry land and soon there will be none of us left. It looks as if it's going to rain soon. If it does, we can all muck about with umbrellas. Hey, get off our train. Please let me come with you on your train. They're cutting down the forests where I live, and soon there will be none of us left. I think there's enough snow now. If there is, we could all throw snowballs. Hey, get off our train. Please let me ride on your train. I live in the frozen north and somebody wants my fur to make a coat out of. And soon, there will be none of us left. If it does not stop snowing soon, we're going to get stuck. We must go back now. I have to go to school in the morning. You must get up immediately or you will be late for school. There are lots of animals in the house. There's an elephant in the hall, a seal in the bathtub, a crane in the laundry, a tiger on the stairs, and a polar bear by the fridge. Does this have anything to do with you? The end. Thank you so much for joining us this month. Now let's pop on over to Ronnie for an amazing craft. Hi everyone. This is Ronnie once again here at the Colorado Railroad Museum, getting ready for story time and craft. But first, I want to introduce you to a little friend of mine. One of the characters that was in the book, Hey, Get Off Our Train. This is, this is Skippy. He's one of my favorite little puppets. And I don't know if you remember, but Skippy was, on, was trying to get on the train because the water that was around him wasn't clean and safe for him, anymore, for him anymore. So that's the reason why he wanted to get on the train. So we've got to remember to keep our water and air and land clean for our, all our animals and friends, as well as ourselves. Well, I'm going to put him away so we could get ready for our craft. So 
our craft today, we are going to make a paper engineer's hat. Let's see what we need to get started on our craft today. We need, obviously, a paper plate. We need scissors. We need a pencil. We need a marker, any color you want, but I'm using blue. And we need some tape. If you have time, you could use glue too, but I think the tape's gonna hold better. All right, let's get started. So first thing we're gonna do is we are going to fold the plate in half. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut off as much as we can. I'm gonna start out here. That needs to fit on our head. When you get about this far, open it up and see if you can make a cut out of it. We can maybe do a little bit more. So fold it up again. You cut a little bit more. There we go. Lay it down. Yep. Now that doesn't quite look like an engineer's hat. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna trim some of this part off so that we can make the rim of the hat. So I'm kind of measuring it a little bit, probably a mm, little more than half is where I'm gonna take it. And then I'm gonna cut straight across, starch. I know, you guys are saying that looks goofy. Well, we're gonna trim it so it looks more like a hat. Okay. A little bit better, but you could keep playing around with it, make it Look more like an engineer hat if you'd like. Now we're going to take the rim and the part that we just cut off and we're going to trim that a little bit, get that pointy thing off of it. Okay. And then we're going to place it here on the cap, kind of extended so that the sun's not hitting you in the eyes like a cap. Flip it over and get your tape. So we're gonna go just a little bit under here and tape it to the other part. Double check, make sure it's gonna look right. Then we're gonna do the sides, make sure that that's not sticking up too much. Put a little bit here, a little bit here, just to hold that down. Now, what you wanna do is maybe what your whoever's doing the craft with you, mom, grandma, brother, sisters, they can make the lines. They make the lines all the way from the bottom to the top. That way, our friends who are younger can mark them and you're gonna color every other, every other line. And then you're gonna do it here on the cap as well. Then I'll have to a little bit more here. So when, once the boys and girls get it, then they can trace over the lines. Of course, you have to be able to see straight.
And if you want to, you can go all the way around doing the stripes as well. But we're just gonna color one now. Be careful not to have color on the table. Okay, and you just keep going on till you have a hat or engineer cap that looks like that. All right, so if you remember the story, uh, they talked mostly about taking care of the animals, the plants, the land and the air. You need to kind of remember to keep doing that so that we're all safe on our planet. Thanks for joining us here at the Colorado Railroad Museum. Um, I hope you have a wonderful day. Bye. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Be sure to visit our online gift shop for a wide variety of train-themed children's books.